What's up, HRV? I'm Milo Clarkson. And I'm Christian Furley. Welcome to What's Up, our weekly show about what's going on at the high school. We're currently in the middle of our leper can themed canned food drive. The cans go to all the, all the local families in need. We thought it would be a cool idea to give you guys an update on the current standings. The top three by a wide margin are the usual suspects of Mr. and Mrs. Yasui and Mr. Taktai. As it looks right now, Mrs. Yasui's class is on their way to chase the rainbow to first place. As of Wednesday, December 11th, the school had a total of 25,440 cans. There's also a dance here at HRV on Friday from 8.30 to 10.30. The entrance, fee, the entrance fee will be either $3 or 10 cans. All the money and cans raised from the dance will be given to the Fish Food Bank and count towards the school total of, can, of the canned food drive. Every year, many HRV graduates are the first in their families to attend college. Some members of our HRV staff were once in the same position. We sent Eva and Theo to interview them. Um, it's, yeah, it's nothing like high school, you know. Uh, some kids you knew were there because they were ready for college and they had that preparation before. Um, and some, like me, I was just like, and my eyes were just like huge, you know, looking around and, and trying to get everything figured out. A lot of students that I teach are first generation college students. Uh, some are lucky enough to be uh, first generation, but their older brothers and sisters have gone to college. Um, and so they have that, that support there. Um, I want them all to understand that you can do that. You can go to college or you can go to a trade school. You've, you've just got to keep at it. Um, there are going to be days, there are going to be tests that you, that you uh, take, classes you go to where it's just going to grind on you. You're just going to be like, oh my God, why am I even here? Um, and you've got to push through those days. You'll, you'll have some really, really hard days. Um, but if you surround yourself uh, with the right people, just like I tell students here, if you surround yourself with the right people, um, you will make it and you just got to keep going. You got to go from one semester, take, you know, take it by semester. Don't think, oh, and four, I got to do this in four years. No, go one semester yeah. to the next and ask questions, you know, ask questions of friends and make sure that you hang out with the right people. Uh, there are going to be people that are there just to party um, and there are going to be people that are going to be there to get their, their degree uh, and always have a plan B. Advice that I would definitely give is lean on the supports. That's huge. Um, and that they have here um, to not be afraid because there's always going to be someone there if you reach out for it. If you don't, then you're not going to get the help you need. Um, definitely meeting with an academic advisor throughout the whole process, community college, and looking forward to say, okay, where am I going to transfer to or what do I want to do? Several pieces of advice that I would have liked to have known before starting would be um, going out of state for university was the best decision, one of the best decisions of my life. Um, stay true to your mission of earning a degree. Don't get sidetracked. Uh, take classes every year that fuel your passion, not just the expectations for the college. Introduce yourself to your professors. Find the tutoring centers first week on campus, math and English. Go to every class, even if you're not feeling well. Um, oh, you can challenge classes by taking a test. And if you pass the test, um, you don't have to take the class. Uh, never walk alone on campus at night. Always call an escort service. Don't drink at parties. Uh, discrimination comes in all forms. Don't take it personal, because it's not about you. Um, Academic content at university is not as hard as the emotional learning that you'll have. And if the first college doesn't work out for you, transfer. It was a lot of fun. Best years of my life. Hey Furley, what's the funniest thing on your camera roll? Ooh, here, look at this. Wait, would Mr. Case want to see it? Oh, never mind. This week on Question of the Week, we asked students what's the funniest clean thing on their camera roll. Funniest picture in my camera roll is probably this. It's a picture of me, Didi, and Yoreli, and I'm pinching her cheek. It's pretty funny. <laughs> this takes a great photo. I'll show you. <laughs> there we go. This is the funniest thing on my camera roll. This is the funniest thing in my camera gallery. My search history. My dad's face photoshopped on Serena Williams. My little cousin, like, almost shirtless, dancing. That's cute. 
In Writing 121's advertising unit, Ms. Notaboom assigns her students to make an ad for Hood River Apples. We decided to show you some of the best ones. Baby, don't make me spell it out for you All of the feelings that I got for you Can't be explained, but I can try for you Baby, don't make me spell it out for you You keep on asking me the same questions Why? And second guessing all my intentions Should know by the way I use my compression Got the answers to my confessions It's like I'm powerful with a little bit of tender And emotional sexual bender Mess me up, yeah, but no one does it better There's nothing better That's just the way you make me feel Perfect. That's our show for the week. Thanks for watching. Come back next week and we'll tell you what's, what's up. up. Like it. I mean, we can. <laughs>